Over 1 million heat presses sold. Over 1 billion t-shirts decorated. Stahls Hotronics has been empowering heat printing professionals for years. I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stahls, and I get the privilege of showing you the latest heat press from the Hotronics lineup, the Hotronics Fusion. From the industry-leading heat press manufacturer, Stahls Hotronics. Introducing the latest in heat press innovation. The Fusion. There's a lot of heat presses in the marketplace. Can they really be that different? Can one pose that many advantages to your business that makes it smart to invest in it over another? I say yes. I'm going to show you the Hotronics Fusion. This press is easier to use, making, making it comfortable for the operator. It's smarter, I'll show you that with the touchpad control, and it's more versatile, meaning you can accommodate more items than just t-shirts. So let's start with the easier to use. First, this press is not a clamshell, so you don't need to be in underneath the heat. It operates as a draw press or a swing away. We'll show you that operation. Swing away. The whole top head swings out 180 degrees, so I have full access to this whole bottom platen. Basically, when I load my garment onto the press, this is how you're used to loading garments onto the press like that, most decorators do, I'm able to see completely over top in a heat-free workspace. There's no heat over top of me making me sweat or making it tough for me to get in here and align a graphic. So it operates as a swing away. A lot of people love swing away style presses. If a swing away press isn't your thing, you can actually operate this press as well as a draw press, meaning the bottom drawer pulls out into the aisle and then you can load your garment and shuttle it back in. Operating as a draw press instead of a swing away press means I don't need all this space behind the machine when I lay it out in my shop. But basically you load the garment, slide it in or swing the head back around and you lock it down for the recommended time and temperature and pressure to complete an application. Once it's complete, it beeps and I open it. It doesn't end there with this press and how easy it is to use. My favorite thing about this press is that it's called threadable meaning it's completely open underneath. So if I put my arm under here, I take my arm and wave it, you can actually go clear back on this press. It's completely open. So why is that important? Basically, now when you load the garment, you can split it open and actually thread it onto the bottom platen. So you see, I just split that t-shirt open and thread it. You'll notice after I thread it, I do a few things. I make sure the seam on the collar is draped down over the edge makes it really easy to do that when it's threadable. So I run a really flat pressing area. That way any seams, buckles, zippers, buttons are not affecting my pressure. So I thread it, slide it back in, lock it down. Very easy to use. The first thing I want to show you is how to adjust the time, temperature, and pressure on this display. It's all touch screen. So I can simply touch the temperature setting and hit the up key to increase the temperature or the down key to decrease the temperature. I can also touch the time setting. Right now it's at seven seconds. If I want it at five seconds, I simply take it down to five. I let it sit for a moment and those arrows will disappear. Now it's gonna to start to, in this case, heat down to 331 degrees. So this is what you have it set for and this is the temperature that it's at. The pressure actually reads out on the screen as well. It's reading a zero right now because I haven't locked the press down. When I lock the press down, it will read the pressure that I'm at. So right now I'm at a three. To adjust the pressure, you simply turn the knob on top of the heat press. Turn it clockwise to lower the platen, thus increase the pressure. Counterclockwise to raise the platen or decrease the pressure. So anytime you lock it down, you always lock it down to dial it in. It'll read you. Now I'm at a four. This goes from zero to nine. So you can set the pressure. You may have also just noticed when you lock the press down, the timer engages, counts down to zero, and beeps when it's finished. So you know my transfer is on there. It's time to open the press. So in the past, you've probably always had to adjust the time and the temperature for the particular transfer that you were using for that job. In this case, you can actually set up the press with commonly used transfers ahead of time. So I can toggle through by hitting the right arrow key. Now I'm on a glitter setting. You can see it changed to 350 degrees for four seconds. I can go this way. I'm on thermofilm, 330 for seven seconds. 
It's telling me I need to dial in the pressure for a 5. So it reminds you of what that pressure setting needs to be as well, but you'll have to manually dial that in and set it. Sport film light, 320, 15 seconds. Spectra Eco Film. You set all of these up. These are based on the CAD cut films, the transfers, the rhinestone applications, whatever you're using in your shop, you can program as a preset here to easily toggle through. So it makes it easy for you or your employee that's operating the press. It keeps the guesswork out of it. This can also wake up in the morning and go to sleep at night. So what that means is I can go into the menu, into setup, enter my password. If you're the owner of the shop, you'll have the password set up, so only you can change the settings. And I can go into my auto on and off. And I can tell it, maybe on the weekends, I don't want it to turn on and off at all, I just want it to be off. On Monday, I can set it to turn on at 8 a.m. and turn off at 5 p.m. So you can set it by day, and that's just a safety feature in the evening to make sure the press is off. Also, you're not using up the electricity. Also, in the morning, it makes it helpful. That way, the press is up to temperature before you walk in the door. Let's go back to the main menu and back into the operation of the press. So what happens if I have a different style of garment? Now I have a women's cut garment or even a smaller youth garment. When you go to load it onto the press, of course, it's a little too small for me to open it up and stretch it and thread it on this 16 inch wide platen. So another big feature of this press is the quick change bottom platens. I can actually take a little thumb screw here, pull the whole bottom attachment off, it's very easy to change, put this one to the side, and load an optional size that you can get from the distributor that you buy the press from. Lock it back into place, that's on there. It's not going to move. Now to press that garment, I can open it up and thread it onto the smaller platen so all my seams hang off the edge. So that's a women's cut garment. That's how easy that is to do. Let's take a kid's garment. Once again, a small toddler garment you can open up, thread on the press, and you can make sure the collar and all the seams are hanging off, off the edges of the press for a nice even pressure. Want to decorate performance wear? Once again, this is a real lean compression fit construction. I just can't lay on top of a 16 by 20 platen because the seams are in the way. So I split it and thread it on. It makes alignment really easy. Of course, if I like operating as a swing away, I can thread the garment on as a swing away as well. For a hooded sweatshirt, I can actually take and I can rotate this bottom platen sideways. One of the challenges of a draw style press is that this excess bulk is hanging off and it's hitting the table when you slide the drawer back in. So that's another cool feature. I'll operate it as a swing away then. Split open the hooded sweatshirt. They have a nice flat front pressing area where I can complete my application. But let's show you a bag. This openness underneath the bottom platen means I can actually split open a bag thread it on, and let the excess bulk hang below the platen. If I want to do a jacket, once again, operating it as a swing away, loading on to reach the back area of the jacket so all the bulk's hanging underneath. Don't have to worry about these zippers that I would need to worry about if I laid it flat on a 16 by 20 platen. Complete my application. That's it. I've shown you a lot of my favorite features on the Hotronics Fusion. This heat press carries a five-year warranty on all the major components, two years on the control board, and lifetime on the heating element. This press is easier to use, smarter, and more versatile than any other heat press on the market. Will you become part of Team Hotronics? Maybe you can own heat press number one million and one. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact us today.